Hello, welcome to another DJI Neo battery test video. However, on this one, I'm going to test the different modes, Cine, Normal and Sport. This is my Neo that you can see on the screen and it's currently fully loaded with a gimbal guard, bumper guards, propeller guards and for good measure an ND filter on the lens with some red tape to keep the birds at bay. Now this setup with these accessories is what I imagine a lot of people will use so it makes perfect sense to me to have these accessories attached to do this test. So before we get into the test I want to just nip into the settings on the Neo, make sure that the gain and expo settings uh, with the horizontal speed is all set to max on each mode, Cine, Normal and Sport. You'll notice that the maximum horizontal speed for Cine is 2 meters per second which is pretty slow. For normal it's 6 meters per second which we'll have to bump up here uh, and for sport it is 8 meters per second so we'll get all them up to their maximums and then we'll get on with the test. So as per my previous battery test video I will start the timer as the drone takes off, fly the drone until it's forced to land and stop the timer as it touches down. I'll fly each mode in a figure of 8 formation figure of 8 for cine mode will be smaller because it's so slow and uh, that takes in some straightforward flying, some left turns, some right turns. It's a reasonably cold day when I filmed this, it was 6 or 7 degrees, there was a bit of wind so there's some strong wind warnings pop up on the screen. So the drone fights against the wind, the battery fights against the cold but it is what it is. So I will fast forward this till the drone comes into land now and we'll see what times we get. So now we've got the low battery warning countdown on the screen. And that's basically the countdown to the forced landing. The low battery warning up the top in red and white, that's been there since about 20%. So that's now the forced landing in progress. As soon as the drone touches down and we see the grass round about the drone stop moving, that's when the props stop spinning and we stop the timer. So in cine mode we get a time of 11 minutes 36.2 which is neither here nor there. Not great, so let's move on to normal mode and see how that goes. So once again, start the timer as we take off. I will speed it up right to where it comes in to do the force landing and we'll see what time we get. Once again we've got the low battery landing force landing countdown and the force landing takes effect. The low battery warning came up again at about 20% so pretty consistent. Um, had to kind of force this landing here it said the ground underneath was not suitable. Um, but down we go. And this time in normal mode with a time of 10.36, again 0.3, neither here nor there. Again, not fantastic. So let's have a look at sports mode and see how we get on with that. So again, I'll just keep repeating myself and bore you. Start the timer as we take off, speed it up, come back when it's about to land and stop the timer when it touches down. So I'll see you in about 15 seconds. And here we are for the final time in sports mode. Final landing 
and uh, sorry final forced landing and as it comes down um, again about 20 percent the low battery warning started to pop up we'll bring it down again it had to force this land in how the drone knows it's unsuitable where it's landing is beyond me but anyway we touch down and it's 10 17 Point four and the point four again neither here nor there so let's um crack on and have a little look at the results so the results are in let's have a look 11 minutes 36 in cine mode normal mode 10 36 and sports mode 10 17 are you shocked by those results i have to say sports mode i'm a bit disappointed in fact i'm very disappointed that's nearly 50 percent less than the quoted 18 minutes maximum flight time from DJI and I know that's in ideal conditions and this was not ideal in any shape or form however still very disappointing I think the new Neo when it's released certainly has to be a little bit heavier to cope with the wind it definitely needs a better sensor it absolutely needs a higher capacity battery um, let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, and again, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.